In this lecture, we're going to talk about mangrove forests. What's a mangrove? What is a mangrove forest? These are remarkable forests that occur in the intertidal zone. So the intertidal zone is the area of the coast that are affected by the tides or by seawater. And you can see here two pictures, and you can see that one of the features of these forests are these extensive root systems. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the lecture. Now when I said in the intertidal zone, this graphic here is to show you what I mean. So they occur from mean tide, so where the water is half the time, up into the higher spring tide, where behind that there will be terrestrial vegetation. So unlike salt marshes and seagrasses, and you can see that the seagrasses occur below mean tide in this image, unlike seagrasses and salt marshes, mangroves are woody plants. These are trees. The distribution of the diversity of mangrove forests is highest, so there are more species uh, in the tropical regions than there are in the more temperate uh, regions of their distribution or the subtropical regions of their distribution. Most of the species are centred in the Indo-Pacific region and this is a similar pattern to coral reefs and seagrasses. They're on shores that have low wave energy. Wave energy disrupts their dispersal or their ability to establish on shores. And because they're rooted into the sediments, they need soft sediments. So you always find them in muddy settings or in sandy settings. The areas, the, the countries in the world that have the largest area of mangroves are Indonesia, Brazil and Australia. There are different kinds of forests and we're going to look at a few here. The first ones that I'm going to show you, or this is a typical picture, are forests that are associated with river deltas and estuaries. This is really a fundamental habitat for mangroves in tropical and subtropical environments. And this picture is from the Hinchinbrook Channel in northern Australia. Other kinds of forests can be found in coastal embayments. Now this is not necessarily associated with rivers, but in fact a sort of indents into the coast where wave energy is, uh, is low enough to allow establishment and growth of those forests. In this picture we're looking at the mangroves which are the dark fringe around the edge adjacent to the water and behind them are large uh, extensive uh, salt flat habitats that have cyanobacterial mats on them. The last kind of for forest or mangrove forest that I want to draw your attention to are those that occur within reefy habitats, within lagoonal habitats. And here this is a picture from Belize where mangroves colonise islands or uh, colonise they actually construct or um, uh, assist in the making of these islands uh, inside a barrier reef. And these are common in uh, the Americas, this is from Belize in Central America, but also in the Great Barrier Reef and uh, throughout Indonesia and the Indo-Pacific. These forests are highly variable in size. So they vary in both size and species composition. And here I've got three pictures for you. The first is of a very tall forest from the north of, an, north of Australia in the Daintree River where the trees reach 30 metres and in some places, in estuarine areas, they can be even larger than this. The second photo is kind of a typical, uh, a, a typical coastal fringing mangrove where you have trees that are about somewhere between 5 and 15 metres tall and often inundated by seawater every day. The third picture I have here is a scrub forest. Now these are forests that are dominated by trees that are less than about two metres tall and they can be extensive. This picture here is actually a, a scrub forest from New Zealand, which is where some of the most southern distribution of mangroves occurs.